What's going on YouTube, I'm Brady here, and in today's video, we are going over some of my top five best camp locations in all of Fallout 76. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76 so you can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off with our first camp location on the list, we are just southwest of the Moonshiner Shack and Fallout 76 in the Forest Region. And here we have our very own private dock and our private pond. This place is fantastic, though it's very close to the seasonal event of Meat Week when it does a spawn. It does spawn up there, so during Meat Week it might be a little bit hard for your camp to spawn. But this place is absolutely beautiful. We have blood leaves if you need them. Look at that. Your very own blood leaves. Sound disgusting, but there they are. But I think this place is absolutely amazing. And you can put your camp right here on the dock and you can get half of the water and most of the land. So if I was to do that, bam, bam, I'm not going to do that because I got home. Okay, but look at this. That's a ton of land. And the view is absolutely amazing. And the privacy is even more amazing. Though I did have someone come up here and kind of harass me as I was trying to make this video. So, 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 she had to go. But now let's get on to our next location. The next camp location on my list is my very own camp location. And here we are just northeast of Site Charlie and the Savage Divide. Now this place is absolutely fantastic, though it may be extremely hard to build at. As you can see, there's not really any flat area whatsoever. So you're going to have to build like foundations, maybe build up here on the rocks, or not even build a house, just use a pre-made structure. But this is Z Camp location. Now the reason I really, really like this location is first off, I like this little setup over here. I think this is pretty funny and kind of scary because like, like, oh no, what happened here? Oh, oh. That means something fell. Someone fell down there. I thought that was pretty cool. But the main attraction is the slack line. I'm a daredevil, so of course I wanted this giant ass slack line right here. Look at that. All right, what you do is you take off sprinting and you jump before get to the line and see if you can land on the line like this. Hopefully you have a jetpack because if you miss, you're dead. But if you don't miss, you survive like me. But this is a pretty fantastic location. Now, let me show you how it looks with my camp actually built here. I think it's pretty cool and it's gonna make it look a lot different. I mean, a lot different. Let me just stand back here, activate home and wada beam bada boom. We have a barricade structure. Look at this. Oh, oh God. Swanee, why are you not wearing clothes? Jesus Christ. During a video, this is disgusting. This is where I have my camp though, and this is how it looks with everything placed. It looks absolutely freaking amazing and like a fun house in my opinion. The next camp location on our list brings us just west of the Pioneer Scout Lookout in the Toxic Valley. And here you have your very own Toxic River your toxic camp with your very own toxic fishies to go along with this camp. This place is actually really, really cool in my opinion, and it's for someone who just wants to chillax. Though do be careful because there may be some enemies that spawn around here. As you can see, I've already taken care of these guys, but you may also get a traveling merchant to come along. So that's also fantastic. And if you want to do what I did, I just built a wall right here so no one could get in. And I also built a wall over here so no one could get in. But this, in my opinion, is the best toxic valley camp location. Now on to the next one. The next camp location on our list brings us to just east of the Summersville Dam in the Forest Region. And here, this place comes with a ton of views. Look at this. And a ton of flat land. And who does not want some flat land? Bam, bada beam, bada boom. This could all be yours with the placing of your camp. But this doesn't only come with the flat land and views. It comes with your very own river again. That is not as toxic as the last one. This is a really cool location. Though there's going to be a ton of scorch over here. So just make sure you wake up and take all these guys down for some extra XP. The next camp location on our list brings us to just south of the White Springs Golf Club at the White Springs Golf Course. And here is one of my favorite places at the course because you can have your very own pre-built structure Which is pretty cool to use for stores. Lucky here. Lucky here. How fantastic is that? Maybe put your ally in there and sell some vendor stuff. That'd be pretty cool But you can also have a little bit of this pond in it or or you could have this whole entire pond and just have that thing Just chill in there. It doesn't matter But I think this place is really cool And if you don't want any of that, there's also a ton of flat land over here Though do be careful if you do decide to move here because there's gonna be some mylurks in that pond I've taken care of those bad boys already, but this is it This is some of my best camp locations in Fallout 76 guys and if you enjoyed the fault 76 content like this and you want to see more make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more fault 76 content and guys i shall see you in the next one peace For the ones that have stayed to the very end, I want to say I greatly appreciate your support. And for that, I want to show you one of my favorite places to get plans for your camp. Starting off, what you're going to want to do is make your way over to the White Springs Resort. Once you're at the resort, make your way over to the lower lobby and shops. Head all the way down to the end of this hallway. And here, you will find a vendor bot that goes by the name Pendleton. Pendleton has a ton of your camp plans. 